This is a really good smoothie. Hey guys, it's your O, so now you know, and this week I'm doing a smoothies with Sarah. So the topic for this week, it's going to be Black Panther. Recently on February 18th, I saw Black Panther, and let me tell you, it was a phenomenal movie. Tab 10. Go watch it. So for all of my friends who don't know what Black Panther is, I'm going to read a small description of what the movie's about. After the death of his father, T'Challa, Black Panther, returns home to the African nation of Wakanda to rightfully place as king. When a powerful enemy suddenly reappears, T'Challa meddles as king and as the Black Panther and gets tested when he is drawn into a conflict that puts the fate of Wakanda and the entire world at risk. Faced with many treachery and danger, the young king must rally his allies and release the full power of Black Panther to defeat the foes and secure the safety of his people. The director is Ryan Coogler. Chadwick Boseman plays Black Panther. Something that's really hit me about the movie is the message behind the movie. In my interpretation of the message is sharing is caring. And I'm not saying cheesy, but hear me out. Now the city of Wakanda has a supplement of this metal called vibranium, which is the hardest metal in the world. And they have it all contained in, but they don't want to share with anyone because they're afraid that their weapons will be used for bad but they haven't let, given people the chance to see if their weapons will be used to good. They don't allow outsiders as a country, and even though they're a first world country, they pose as a third world country when they go to like the UN. Now the villain in this movie is not like any other villain. Yes, he's out for T'Challa, but he's bringing the point of you have all these weapons, why aren't you sharing it with everyone? But the villain also wants to use these weapons for bad things. If you hear the background story of the villain, you would understand what I'm coming from, but you're making a really good point, and that's what brings Wakanda apart. There's the side where people want to stay and continue to keep their weapons a secret, and then the side like, he makes a good point, we should share our weapons, and they start a war, and they start fighting. Now, this starts a war, and everyone fights, then they realize that this is a country where of love, and this is a country of unity, and it brings everyone together, and that's what I really liked because happy endings are the best ending. Hashtag Wakanda forever. So there was a line in the movie that really hit me and my mom. And it was the leaders of the two groups were fighting. The general who was fighting for Wakanda to stay safe and protected. And the chief who was providing for Wakanda to share their secrets. They were in love with each other. And so they were head to head fighting with each other. And the chief said, will you kill me, my love? And the general said, for Wakanda, yes. And this really showed you want to stand up for what you believe in. And that's a really big thing in our age. Because some of us, I feel like myself and some of my friends, we stay in clothes. And we have a say in something that could really benefit everyone but we don't say it. Stand up for you believe in because it can change the whole world. And the chief dropped his weapon after the general said, for Wakanda, yes, because he realized, yes, this is where my roots are. This is where I've been born and raised. I don't want my family to be torn apart over a silly, stupid thing. So they all rise together and they compromise. Compromisation is key. Perfect, they made a really good point about that. Okay, so now for the action part. CGI, CGI, let me take, thank you. Thank you, thank you, CGI. Now, some of you guys might not know what CGI is. No need to fret, because I'm gonna explain it to you. CGI is computer-generated imagery, and CGI is an application of computer graphics to create or contribute to images and art, printed media, video games, films, television programs, shorts, commercials, videos, and simulators. I want to say that CGI is what makes action scenes and anything in Marvel movies so realistic and I adore it so. The action scenes were so intense. It kept us on our seats the whole entire time. The way the Black Panther placed on his suit, it wasn't like it's simple slip it on. Like he had a necklace made the suit go all over his body. CGI did a wonderful job making it look realistic and all the technology. It's like they're foreshadowing what our world will be like in 2050. It was really good. Spot on. Good job Marvel. 
Also, the costumes were amazing. Oh my goodness, the African wear, 10 out of 10. My grandma, who lives in Kenya, makes her own outfits just like that, and she has her own tailoring company in Kenya. And my family and other families also wear African wear. Exhibit A and Exhibit B. But I really liked what I wore. Me and my mom were matching. My brother and my dad both wore African shirts. There was another lady who was in a really pretty African dress that I really liked. Good job, Black Panther. They also created a whole entire language for this movie. It's not like Swahili from Africa. I think it was really cool how they did it for this movie. This is Marvel's first superhero movie that has a black superhero, and it shows that color shouldn't define us, what we do. Great job, Marvel. This movie is gonna spark a lot of discussions, and I think on my end, it's gonna spark the discussion of how we should share our resources more. I really enjoyed this movie, and you guys should totally go check it out. I guarantee you, you will enjoy it, even if you don't like superhero movies. Spot on. Go see the movie. Comment down below what you thought of the movie or what you're expecting for the movie to be like if you haven't go see it, even though I recommend you seeing it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because I upload videos every other Sunday. And I'll see you guys next video.